Hi there. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to remove bloatware from your newly installed Windows 11, or even if you've been using it for a while. Follow the steps carefully. Do your own R&D if you don't understand something. And of course, do this at your own risk. Debloating a Windows PC could improve your system's performance. There's always unnecessary software installed on a new PC. You can always uninstall them one by one, but this software does it all in one go for you. As you can see in the start menu, we've got TikTok, we've got uh, WhatsApp, we've got ESPN, Prime Video, etc. already installed on the computer. You can, however, pick and choose what you want uninstalled, or you can reinstall it later on. Go up the top where it says type here to search, type in power. What we're looking for is Windows PowerShell. Don't click on it, but click on that little arrow and then click on run as administrator. After clicking run as administrator, you may get this pop up. Click yes. Once you allowed the app to make changes, you'll see a black window pop up. Type in the command that is shown on your screen. I've also put it in the description below so you can just copy and paste it. If you are typing that out, just make sure you're not making any mistakes. Double check it before you hit enter at the end. Once you're successful, the Windows 10 Debloater window will pop up. The Windows 10 Debloater is compatible with Windows 11. There are no core changes between 10 and 11. Under the Debloat options, you can customize your block list. You can remove all bloatware or remove bloatware with the custom block list that you created up top. You can also revert registry changes as well as enable, disable, Cortana, Edge PDF and the dark theme. Other optional changes that you may wish to do, uh, uninstall OneDrive, disable telemetry, unpin tiles, remove bloatware reg keys, and install .NET 3.5. Now it's at your own risk if you want to disable or enable anything, so if you're not sure about something, just do your own research. Now the first time you run the Windows Debloater, it'll automatically run a Windows Restore Point. In some cases, you'll get a message like I have in the background saying a restore point couldn't be created because the last restore point was already done within a certain amount of time. Most likely this is okay because it's already got a restore point, but if you're not sure, just create a manual restore point, just in case. Or manually back up your data, which you should be doing anyway. This is a brand new install, so I won't worry too much about it. The option there to remove all bloatware in one go is configured for Windows 10 installs. You may want to click on customize block list in order to specifically pick um, what programs you want to delete. Personally, I'm okay with removing all bloatware. That usually works fine for me, especially because this is a brand new install. In the background PowerShell window there, you can see it working away. Once it's done, then you can move on to the next bit. It may open and close some windows, just let it do its thing. You can now see in the background that it's now finished all the tasks. So you can click on the next thing that you want to remove now. Of course, if you had customized your block list up top, you would be pressing this button here, not the middle one. Once it shows in the background that it's completed, go to the start menu and you can see that most of the icons are gone now. So next up, we can disable Cortana. So in the background, it says it's now been deleted. Like every other option, it's up to you if you want to disable Edge PDF or the dark theme. I will go ahead and disable Edge PDF this user is going to use their own PDF reader. I won't worry about enabling the dark theme. The next app you may want to uninstall is the OneDrive. 
most of the time OneDrive is running in the background. Oh, but not on this laptop. A lot of the time it is running in the background and you can see it in that tray down the bottom there. Now, I'm not sure if this person is going to use OneDrive, so I'm not going to click on uninstall OneDrive. It's not running in the background, so I'll just leave it on the laptop. Now it's time to disable telemetry. What telemetry does is run in the background and track all services run by Microsoft. Once it's done, you'll see in the background, it says telemetry has been disabled. Next step will be to remove bloatware reg keys. This cleans up any remaining registry keys following the bloatware cleanup script. After this, you can run the unpin tiles from start menu command it should make your start menu launch more efficiently. The last bit will be to install .NET 3.5 if you need it. This one does take its time, so be patient. Okay, now it's finally finished. Once you're done with the debloater, you can just close the windows, open up your start menu to see the difference. Most of those useless apps are gone now. I'll show you a few bonus things that I also like to disable, like this widget on the side here. Nobody really uses that, or that search bar down the bottom. Just right click on the taskbar, and then go to taskbar settings. Up the top there, you can just turn off what you won't use. I always turn off the search only because it frees up taskbar space as you can see you can also do the search by clicking on start and searching up at the top there next option is the task view you can turn that off if you wish this allows you to have different desktop sessions at the same time and you can just flick between them i'll leave it on for this user next thing i turn off is the very annoying widgets on the side there nobody ever uses that if you want to use that, leave that on, otherwise turn that off. Next up is the chat feature. I haven't come across anyone that uses this. I'll turn it off. So that's it for now. If you've come across other features that will be useful to turn off, comment it below and let everybody else know. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I hope this was helpful. Take care.